let's get it started yeah yeah because it's about to go down honey it's gonna be a window box to rival all window boxes right now these are some beautiful terracotta pots hi you guys welcome back to my garden i am uber excited about today's video honey because we are getting ready to go in and we're going to give this window box a winter time refresh now if you're like me and maybe i'm just putting my feelings or the way that i feel off on some of you all but i'm so excited and ready for just the winter holiday to have a break from the garden from our garden chores now let me go ahead and say this nine times out of ten nine times out of ten come december january for sure i'm going to want to get my hands in some dirt and not just in a container because i continue to plant up beautiful containers throughout the winter season so we still put content out over here on garden queen I want to go in and i want to make this area a winter ambiance i want to give this area a winter vibe like never before i'm so excited and you guys we are going to start with the window box Alright, so I went ahead, I cleaned up the window box. Now, what we're going to do, if you get in close, you can see where we have some dead foliage here. That is typically normal, but if it bothers you, feel free to go ahead and back a little bit. Here, so we're just going to get in and we're just going to clip that out of there just to make it a little bit more sightly. I'm going to clip here. And if they don't make it this season, they're not really that much of an investment Although I would like for them to continue to stay in this window box and flourish a little bit. I'm going to get all of this out here. We'll grab this right here. Grab this as well. We'll get this out of here. I am going to cut a little bit more off of this tree. Okay. Okay. Ooh, prickly it looks a lot better the soil level is not really full and we have those dips this is where we pulled out the plants that were there previously so we do need to go ahead and fill in with some more soil window box up with soil now i am ready to show you guys the plants the plants that we are going to use and it is going to be absolutely gorgeous let me go get them Woo! you know what what we need to do because we are losing light honey we're losing light so what we're going to do is i'm going to just get the plants out we're going to go ahead, we're going to put this look together, and then we'll talk about what we use. Very simple, you guys. Oh, I'm going to be a window box to rival all window boxes right now. <clears throat> to save time, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to clean off this table real quick. Just move everything over, so that way we can go ahead and get done. So, let me go ahead...
I love it. I love it. Okay, now let's get into this window box look. So our thriller here is we have a spruce that we put in, a blue spruce that we put in in the earlier parts of the season. You guys, I love blue foliage. I have a hedge wall full of Taylor junipers. They're perfect for creating hedge walls. But let's bring it on back to this. Love evergreens with the blue foliage. I love to use them in my garden and containers. But that is the plant that we have here. And that's going to be our evergreen look. So then I came in for our filler. I used a magnolia. So all, all of the components that we're using here, everything is real. Now the magnolia leaf that we're using, the stem that we're using, they're 100% real. You can pick these up from your floors. Those are the Bracken's Brown Beauty. And I love them because the leaf on one side, you have this beautiful, shiny, green leaf and then to contrast that on the back side the underside you have a velvety brown and i feel like it just adds a extra element of interest then at the bottom here we have some white roses you guys i have not lost my mind i have not lost it yes i know we're in november and we're heading to cooler nights but you guys i have roses right now in my garden that are actually blooming, putting on fresh blooms. And I am one of those ones that I like to live on the wild side a little bit. I feel like this sometimes you don't give the plants the credit that they need. So I came in with some beautiful creamy white roses and then next to it we have a winter green, Gothera. I love to use Gothera when I am creating different holiday arrangements, different winter looks. I use them on the outside of my home. I also use them on the inside of my home. And so what we did was we started off on both ends. We have our roses to kind of give us that complete look. And then we went ahead and in between that we added a Gothera. Now you guys, this is an easy look very easy to repeat and if you can't find one of the plants you can easily substitute it out for stems now i could have come in and i could have used christmas stems i could have added pine cones but you guys because i'm taking advantage of the warm weather that we have here in the st louis region now granted we might have those nights where we dip down low the only thing that is going to happen is we might get a little bit of purpling on our Gothera here, and then we might lose a little bit of our leaves with our roses. Now, because the rose is a rose, it will start to put on some of that fall color, and it's absolutely fine. But this is going to get me over until when I come in and I start to do the winter look throughout my garden. As we go on and we continue in my past videos, I like to show you guys how you can save money on winter looks because you guys, let Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. Gardening can be expensive if you make it. Now, some of the things, some of the premium things. Now, the magnolia leaves were a premium. The magnolia leaf was kind of my splurge, but we can also say that the Gothera was my splurge as well. Thera is actually a perennial plant. It is a perennial ground cover, and I want to say that the Gothera is hardy to zones three to nine. three to eight here is our plant tag here can you guys see that and then if we flip it around zones three through eight well, it's a lot of different things that you can use you know go outside and source things in your garden if you can't find the magnolia stems you can easily come in and just substitute the magnolias for hydrangeas it would have been absolutely gorgeous to come in and do the same thing and i actually have hydrangeas that i use just for my cuttings and i have brought you guys along with me if I need a longer stem and I need to cut into one of my hydrangea trees, you guys, I have brought you guys along with me. If one of my diehards has been with me since A1, day one, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even if you are a new subscriber, 
thank you for coming along on the journey with me but a few christmases ago we were doing some winter containers we came outside into the garden you guys and we cut from the hydrangea trees so that's one of the things go outside and look around and see what you can source you want to remember that when you do your winter greens right when you're using fresh floral stems everything that's living gets a fresh cut so i went in and i gave my magnolia stems a fresh cut also you want to make sure you continue to water because the magnolia stems is going to continue to take up water so you want to make sure that you're going in you're adding water and that way you'll get that look now here is the thing when you guys are using your wilt stop or your wilt proof one of the things to keep in mind is magnolia stems do not like wilt stop what it does is it gives them a black just sometimes you'll see black spots on them okay magnolia stems when they dry they will dry just like that but the color won't be as vivid but they will dry to where you can go ahead and continue to use your magnolia stems okay but i do not recommend putting wilt stop or wilt proof on the magnolia stems you do want to put them on your evergreens and i also use wilt stop you guys when i'm doing a fresh arrangement and i also go in and i put wilt stop on my evergreens in order to get them and help lock in the moisture from the fall time until springtime. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna water this in. Now, when I do these arrangements, I like to create areas where I can go in. Sometimes I'll go in just like this and I'll take my sprayer off. Woo! I'll take my sprayer off, that way I can get in and I'll water everything in, okay? So, woo. I would love to know down in the comments, have you started working on your winter look? Are you working on it? Are you giving those ideas out that you're going to be thinking about using your color schemes? Because I literally have every single area that I'm going to be doing for a winter look. I have the color down packed. I have a lot of the stems and the floral stems that I'm going to be using. And you guys, I cannot wait to share that with you. And I hope that you'll join along with me. I would love to know what you think about this window box here. Drop down in the comment section. You guys, I just love to hear the comments, you guys. They just really uplift my day when I get a notification and they come through when I log on and I see all of those notifications. They really lift my day. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, let's get it started. Yeah. Yeah, because it's about to go down, honey. Yes. And if you guys notice, we just put a video up about maybe three or four days ago. We are starting to increase our frequency over here on Garden Queen that we are going to be putting videos out. I am working, you guys. I am trying to get this content out. I'm in the middle of redoing my design studio. So because of that, I'm having to shuffle around some of my cabinets. This cabinet was here in my design studio, but we had to move into a new location. What I want to do is I'm going to go in and I am going to show you guys a little bit of my pottery collection. A lot of my collection that you guys may have not seen before. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this stored into this cabinet. Now, when I store my containers, what I like to use is I like to use wooden cabinets versus using just regular shelving. Using the wood shelving, it can handle this heavier terracotta versus if I went in with a cabinet that only had glass. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack into this. It actually has a key here. We're gonna get the plastic off of it and then we're gonna start putting the containers away in the cabinet here and get the key out i put the key in there like that so i would not have to worry about losing the key so we're going to go ahead we're going to tear into this plastic here
this antique cabinet here. We have drawers down at the bottom that I utilize, and then we have the wooden shelves here. I like to put the heavier items down at the bottom, and followed by the more lighter items, lightest weight at the top here, but we do have wooden shelves. If I notice that my cabinets are starting to sag, then I'll go in and I'll try to brace them or I'll just change out the boards because they're wooden boards so they're easy to change out. So we'll just go in and start by cleaning everything out really quick. These are some beautiful terracotta pots. Now, I gotta see when I put it in there, if it's too heavy, if it's too heavy for this cabinet, then I'll go ahead and I will move these to a different cabinet because I have pottery kind of like everywhere right now since we're working on the studio. show you some of the pieces that I'm going to put in there for right now. We'll get everything in there and then if we have more space then we'll add more because I have a ton of pottery. So you guys look at these. So these are the taper pots with moss. These are companion pieces. So I have the entire collection of these and they come in variations of like grays, blacks, you guys, if you do not have black terracotta pots, not brown because you guys, I love my brown, but I'm talking about if you do not have any black like or any gray type terracotta pots, you have got to get your hands on these because can you imagine how beautiful this would be with a topiary inside or even just a beautiful spring collection tulips coming up that's one of the things that i love to do is i love to do a collection of tulips and containers you guys let's rewind back to the springtime honey let's take a break back from that so this is more like the gray color let me show you what the black looks like okay so can you see the difference in the black see the black also compania the black looks good as well this is more of a true gray color right here there's yet another piece you can see the rustic color on this right here can you see kind of like the brown coming through so each pot in the collection it's kind of aged a little bit different and that's what attracted me to them you guys should be able to go on the Campania website because at this point it's no telling where i picked these up but i do know the name brand of these so let's get this collection and the other collection in and then if we have any more room we'll go ahead and we'll add those pieces as well also like a smaller piece to that clip.
time with stuff that doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstandings and words unspoken We fall apart and I won't 